So to start with, with a Type 1, we're going to start from the nicest place that a Type 1 can be in. Like all other types, a Type 1 can be in a place of non-duality, totally connected with their full, true self. And in that state, there is perfection. And they see that everything is connected, everything is one, the universe is in its right place, there's nothing that can be done about it, and they trust that this is all 100% perfect. There's a real sense of warmth and ease and um, security and, and love that comes with that. But then, there's a split, as with all, with all types, and there becomes a duality. And the type 1 um, starts to feel that there's something missing. They compare things, for example, they could look at two trees. One of them is beautiful and, and blossoming, and the other one's all scraggly and rotted. And to their mind, that one is better than that one. So things aren't perfect. And they have this really strong memory of what it was like when things were perfect. So it's a bit like this. This world is, uh, this world is wrong. I mean, it's not quite right. It's almost there, but I'm. Uh, it's it's okay. I'm. Uh, it's my responsibility to make it right, and and I will do this. I'm going to, I'm going to make things right. And then their life becomes this drive to get back to that state of perfection that they they remember. They try so hard, they take that responsibility onto themselves and set themselves this really high standards. So it's uh, a bit like this. Well, I'm not going to be lazy. Of course I'm not going to be lazy. I've, there's lots to do and, and it's actually quite easy to do a good day's work. And uh, Actually, it's also very easy to be a morally upstanding person. I'm not one of these people with loose ethics, and I'm not going to be. If she asks me what I think, I'm going to be honest. Honesty is best, and I'm going to tell her exactly what I think. And what's happened is, there's this um, judge, critical voice, that's always hovering now in the back of a one's mind, and looking down and observing and judging them for whether their actions are right or, 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 or not. So it's a bit like this. My, my posture could be better. My hands are dirty. Keep them clean. Oh, I just feel like sitting down and doing nothing. But no, that's 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 wrong. I'm not going to feel that. I'm going to get on with it. What what can I do? Oh, that needs a clean. So I'm going to clean that. And, uh, right, I've got... Where's my list? Now, I didn't do everything on my list yesterday, so today I'm going to have to finish that off and do the rest of my list. What's this? There's a party to go to tonight. Great, OK, so now I'm going to have to make something. Oh, well, I'm going to make something healthy because I don't think they need to eat any more fatty foods. I'll take a bottle of wine as well because that's the right thing to do, but I'm not going to drink any. I'm not going to lose control. So you can see that they start to find it hard to uh, to have fun. And also they um, become quite judgmental with others. Not only is the light of um, judgment on themselves, but it also critiques others. So they can be quite nagging when they see perfections in their partners or their children or other people around them. Uh, all I'm saying is it would be good to set a good example. If you could just think about the language you're using, just a little bit, and that's all. That's all I'm saying. It's not that hard to do, is it? And by the way, while I'm at it, can you clean the sink when, you, when you've washed up? Just very easy, just, I'll show you if you want. Just clean it out, okay? Just wipe out the sink, put the tap on, it goes down, and then it's sparkling. Otherwise the job's not done. So, they can't help it. Even though they sometimes see that they're being a nag, they, they just can't help it because this like machine in their head has started to run constantly. Imperfection, imperfection, imperfection. They 
they need to wash their hands more. They can become obsessive compulsive. And then they see something on the carpet and they've just cleaned the carpet yesterday. So then they need to go and clean it again. Okay, so they're going to do that. And they're not gonna show their anger because it's not right to show anger. And that's not the right thing to do. But they really resent the fact that they spend all their time working. And when they're not working, they're cleaning the house. And when people don't realize how hard they're working and all the standards that they're upholding and why can't they just try so when someone walks in maybe they do let their anger out do you realize how hard i have tried to clean this house and do you realize that you are totally and this is where ones are really at rock bottom they are full of self-hatred because they've set themselves these high standards that they can't meet they realize they're being bores at parties, they're realising, they're nagging and criticising and that's making people irritated but because they've set themselves these high unattainable standards they just can't seem to stop this. But it's okay because as with all types they can work their way back up the scale and there's always a way to get back from this. Now for a type 1 it's, it's really about realising that things are genuinely perfect as they are. There's nothing they need to do. And this is of course hard because a type one might say, well, you say it's perfect, but everywhere I look, there is imperfections. That's dirty. That person has been very lazy at work. I have not done what I should have done today. And so on and so on and so on. But if you can't make this, this leap, if you can't just believe that the universe is as it should be, and if you're trying to change things and you're resisting the universe, if you can't believe that, then you will never get out of that cycle of suffering. But maybe that leap is too big. But you can try and hold on to that and um, just start to focus your attention more on things that you can perceive as perfect. So, if you're looking around and you're seeing things that, that you need to clean, then you could look at a plant. And a plant, even though it may not be aesthetically as you would see in a very posh bouquet, I can sense the perfection in this. It's... Uh, it's got beauty, it's, it's growing, it's, it's got nice colours, it's, I can sense the perfection in that. And start to think about other things in your, in your life that are good. Well, um, I guess the house is generally clean and, and uh, yeah, I, I do my best and they're doing their best. And, uh, and I just wish they wouldn't... Oh no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna focus again. Okay, okay, I wish I could be better at this. I wish I could be better at this relaxing thing. Because what's happened is that you swapped one set of imperfections and then started to say, okay, now I've got to try and be less, um, less judgmental and I've got to try and chill out a bit. And then you start to be judgmental with yourself when you're not chilling out enough. So just try and be gentle, just gentle, just, just doesn't matter if you can't do it all at once, just keep reminding yourself that it's okay and you can let go a little bit more and you can relax a little bit more and remind yourself that things are really okay. Okay, so. Okay, there's a bit of mud on the floor. Maybe, maybe it's not that important. Maybe, maybe I can clean it later. Really, I, I have been a bit of a perfectionist, but maybe it's all right. Oh, maybe I, maybe overall I do a good job, and and look at just look at the good things about me. Look at the good things about this house. I can make a list of it. I can. I I like I like my life, and especially when I'm out in nature. <clears throat> I can feel the perfection in things and maybe I should do that more. Maybe I should get out into nature more. <sighs> I, can, I, can, 
can let go a bit more. <clears throat> I can do things I enjoy because life's not all about keeping things clean, but it's nice to keep things clean, so I'm not going to tell myself off when I clean, but I can do it less often. I can, I can, I don't have to make so many lists, I can just take my time a little bit more. And gently, gently, this will continue. And the type one, who were before was very much trapped by their own mind of being, of, of being a constant judge, can relax that and really come to the place that they can go through life and hold on to that belief in perfection, that things are really okay. And it's something you feel more than think, something you just, you just get a handle on. And a type one will probably always have that critical voice, but to not associate with it is the important thing. To see it, okay, there's my inner judge, there's my put thing that's trying to criticise that person. Just, okay, okay, okay. I'm going to allow that to be. I'm not going to listen to it today. I'm going to count my blessings and, and focus on what's already right.